this video we are going to see about the linked list implementation first of all we let us see what is meant by linked list a linked list uh, is a structure where it consists of two fields here that this is a node we call this as a node where it consists of two fields one is the data field and another one is the next field where next is nothing but it stores the uh, location memory location of the another structure which is of the same type say for example uh, here uh, this uh, they are of the same uh, same type this is one node this is another node and this is another row and and so on here the first field is said to be it consists of two fields one is said to be the data field and another one is said to be the next field where it have the address of the next node so this is the next node and it is stored in memory location one or two let us imagine these are all the memory locations now here what we are doing is we are placing the address of the next node here so that we can reach the next node by referring the next field likewise if i want to know what is the next node which is following this means i have to go and get the address in the next field and then i can reach out here likewise you can traverse the next 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 node and a linked list it has the starting node uh, uh, and the pointer is head this point to the first node so head is pointing to the this is a pointer which point to the first node in the linked list and how will you find out how will you reach the end how will you know that you have reached the end of the list here for the last node in the next field there will be a null pointer this just slash shows this is a null so here when you see a null pointer it means you have reached the end of the list so your starting of the node can be pointed out by the head and then using the next next field you traverse the whole of the list and you reach the end of the list when you reach the null pointer in the next field so now we we'll come to the definition a linked list as a linear data structure linear means the next after one access the next one you are seeing so and they are all uh, in an orderly fashion you can uh, reach the next data so that's why it's called linear and it's a linear data structure where each element is a separate object here this is one object this is another object and so on so here the element is said to be known you call this as an object or an element you call this as a in general you call it as a known so this consists of linked list consists of many nodes 1 2 3 4 in this there are four nodes on that a linked list is a collection of elements called nodes each node consists of two fields namely data and the next where the next is consists of the address of the next node which is nothing but here this is another node and this is another node here we have the address of the next node which is nothing but in the memory location it is stored in one or two place hence forming a chain like structure here the last node has the address null to indicate the end of the list the entry point in the linked list or the first node is called the head head of the list each node holds its own data each node has its own data and the address of the next node hence forming a chain like structure and thus the name came what are the operations in a linked list get return an element from the list at any given position then insert insert an element at any position of the list remove the first occurrence of any element from a non empty list then remove it remove the element at a specified location for example if i want to remove g i can remove so after removal how it has to be the pointer has to be modified so that it, uh, without any problem it will reach the next node in the linked list so replace uh, replace is the thing but similar to your update replace the exists if i want to change g to h I, i will be i must be able to change for so for that this member function will do that then size at any point of time how many number of elements in the list then is empty and is full will return if it is the link is uh, list is empty it will return true or else false then is full the list is full then it returns true else it returns the false now what are the types of linked list available there are broadly three types of uh, linked list available the first one is the called singly linked list 
and another one is doubly linked list and then the third one circular linked list. Now, what is meant by singly linked list? That is what we have seen in the previous slides. That is, it consists of uh, two fields. Each node consists of two fields. One is the data field, which is which otherwise called as information field. And the next field, this is said to be next field, where this will consist of the address of the next node. So, and so on. So, this is called singly linked list. Here, there will be only one address field. Whereas, a doubly linked list consists of three fields. In the middle, you have the data. The, this is uh, nothing but the next field similar to your uh, previous singly linked list. Whereas, before that, before the data, we have one more field. And that is called previous. Here, we store the address of the previous node. In this, we store the address of the next node to be followed. In this field, we, for, we, uh, we store the address of the previous node. So, in one way, uh, say for example, and in the first node, in the W linked list, in the first node, uh, the first node, the previous node will be a null pointer, indicating that it is a sorting of the node, sorting of the W linked list, and we are seeing the pointer head. In the last, we have the and one more pointer called tail, which indicates the end of the node, and in order to indicate the end of the node, we have the null pointer at the next field of the last node. So here what happens? Using this next field, we go to the, we, we, we traverse the list uh, using the next field. So using this, we can reach this, using this next, we can reach the next node and so on. So how, uh, this node, previous node is used, previous address is used to reach the previous node. So using this, you can go to the previous node, that is this one or two. So now you go here. Then you reach, you get this address, you move backward and so on. So you can move forward as well as backward. So that is why it is called doubly linked list. It is linked both in the forward direction as well as in the backward direction. So the next one is circular linked list. But here we have the, just like our single link list, we have only two fields. Uh, the, here the next field points in the address of the next uh, node. But the last node, we don't have null pointer. Instead, the last, last node is connected to the first node again. So here, so it is called circular link list. 